like oh, I said, yeah. I was in that Facebook group with, you know, and there's thousands of people from all around the world that have the same thing. And most of them are, you know, they're getting disability, they're on crutches and they, you know, they didn't have the circumstances that I had to get the care from this doctor to save my joints. So I was communicating in the group a lot. And like, you know, the day of the race, like they were all behind me, like strangers from around the world that I never met. You know, I, I kind of felt like when I went out there to do the race, I represented them as a whole. And I went, wrote a nice message that morning, like, Hey, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this, but when I jump in that water, I'm kind of doing it collectively for everybody very cool. uh, because I was one of the few cases where, you know, I didn't get joint replacements and I ended up with not only with my mobility, but I was still able to compete as an athlete. So I kind of had them behind my back, pushing me through the day. And, you know, when I got done, I was, you know, I had all these messages from them, you know, how it you was showing the picture on the scene. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Um, you know, people I've never met and I still, I'm still in the group and I still touch base and, and talk to them because, uh, nine out of 10, you know, 99% of those people aren't going to end up how I did on the better side of it, if that makes sense. Yeah. And I'm sure it gives them hope. I mean, even a young guy or someone who's recently diagnosed, they see your story. They're like, you know, there's a chance for me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>